Hi, brothers and sisters. Just going to share a quick dream I had last night. It has a good reminder for us in it. A morning and a reminder. So in this dream, we were driving. Uh, I was with my family. In this case, I was with my mom and my dad. And my dad has been passed away for several years now. But he was a pastor and an evangelist. Occasionally, in my dreams from the Lord, he will represent Father God. And we saw a man begging. He looked like a beggar. He was standing where um, the homeless and the beggars stand uh, as you exit Walmart here. And we saw him and wanted to help him. So we pulled over, parked our car, got out, and went to talk to him. And my, my dad was... Uh, struck up conversation with him, and he took a $5 bill out of his wallet to give to him. And the man took it and flipped it over a couple times, looked at it, folded it, unfolded it, and then basically scoffed at it and handed it back to my dad. He rejected it. And then, as they're talking, I'm noticing that he looks, he has similar features to my dad. He looks like he's related to him, okay? And then the man tells us he's actually a spy. He's not really a beggar. He's a spy on a mission, okay? And that was the end of the dream. Well, five in the Bible represents grace. So my dad, who is a pastor and evangelist and sometimes represents Father God in my dreams, offered him grace, the grace by which we are saved through our faith in Jesus Christ, shed blood, for our sins and he saw it knew what it was rejected it and said actually he wasn't what he appeared to be he wasn't a poor beggar he was a spy and that reminded me oh and the fact that he looked like something he was not he even looked like a member of our family he had similar features He's pretending to be something he's not. So anyway, that reminded me of Galatians chapter 2, where it said, um, starting here in verse 3, but neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. So just a good reminder that uh, we don't give place to false gospels or people that are trying to bring us into bondage. Um, yeah, I think that was just a good reminder for all of us because sometimes there is... Uh, so much tolerance in the name of unity that is a false unity in the body of Christ. But we need to protect that message, the good news by which we are saved. Contend for it. All right, I love you guys. Bye-bye.